Hey guys, Alana here, and today I'm going to be doing a new style of review, and I'm going to be starting it off with Steam and Demon. So it starts off with layout breakdown and then review. So let's get into it. Alright, so this ride is very short. You go up its chain lift, and then you go into a quick turnaround, and then you have the drop. That's about it. And then you have a vertical loop. And then, after that, you have a janky, weird, out-of-place arrow transition, and then you go right into a double corkscrew. And then you make one final turn, and that's the brakes. Not kidding. Everyone was saying, that was it, when we were done. Alright, so this is not a good roller coaster, let me just start off by saying that. It was, the. I have to admit, the first half, it was pleasant. The first drop and first vertical loop were fine. I was in the front row during this, and that was my only ride on it. I did not want to re-ride. But after the first drop and vertical loop, you go right into a weird transition, as I said before, and that caused a little bit of head banging, but not that much. I was surprised, and I was thinking to myself, Oh wow, well, I guess people were wrong about this. But then you go into the double corkscrew. This element is notorious on arrow coasters for not being the best. And afterward, I had a headache from those double corkscrews. I've said that those double corkscrews gave me a lobotomy. And if you don't know, that's basically a, surgi a surgical procedure on your brain. It felt as if I got a lobotomy on that thing. It hurt. My head was being slammed side to side to side, and I was even in the front row, which is notorious for being one of the best for smoothness, but apparently not. If I ever go back, I might give it a re-ride, but for now, it is number 30 on my overall list out of 32 roller coasters. Not a good sign. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.